I'll keep that first bit yeah, and edit yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I need you to say my weed's yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see. Uh, right, okay, here we are. Uh, Oop North, but not, not as far north as north could be. And I'm here with a badly bling, as some people are commonly known as badder bing. How's it going, mate? Cool. Peace, Drilla. Yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you, my friend. Yeah, wicked to meet you. Wicked to meet your dogs. Thank you. My loyal bitches. <laughs> Yeah, everybody needs loyal bitches, man. Oh. There's nothing like a mother and daughter, huh? <laughs> right, um... So... I, you, I, I saw you had a conversation with Roger Hayes. Uh, uh -huh. And you asked him uh, about his constitutional title, and I... Uh, um, it was Roger Hayes, he's the chairman of the British Constitution Group. So uh, you, you asked him, can we turn around? Yeah, and uh, you, you sent him an email or a message asking him what his constitutional title is now. I, 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 I've not heard of a constitutional title and I'm not as schooled as you are in, in that. Or, uh, mm. I haven't researched it at all. But what, what is a constitutional title? Well, Darren DJ touches on this a bit in a few of his documentaries, but you'd, you'd have to watch a good hour of it before he touches on it because the way he sees it, I assume, is if you've not got the patience to listen to someone for an hour, you don't deserve that sort of knowledge, I suppose. I'm not sure how he looks at it, but that's the way I interpret it. But um, I've actually gone and researched this stuff out for myself. I don't take anyone's word for it. And I've been in touch with a magistrate, uh, a master of law. Yeah, right. And I've put it to him, and these are honourable men. They won't lie to me. And I've, uh, I've put it to him that is my master title, which we're all made aware of when we were very little, one way or another. Yeah, because they, they, they call kids master, like if you're a boy, yeah, like master. I was master, Gary, what, what, whatever, like. Well, that's you, how I used you, to always, like, I get it, if I got a letter, it was always ma to master. But there you go, that's, that's, so, that's your inherited constitutional title. So can you define master then? It's someone that creates, someone that sets policy and procedure for right. all their affairs. So right. you're a master so the, of your the, own affairs. So the people that are going, I'm not, I'm not the Mister. I'm not a call. I'm not. A, I'm not a legal fiction. I'm not the name on the birth certificate. Well, you kind of are, but the title you've been given, your Mister title, is a title of courtesy, a trade, and it's you. You are vicariously liable for that title because everyone's used it in some aspects of their life, and people have adhered to it. You can't just all of a sudden ignore it. Without logic, right. yeah. If you're in a courtroom saying, "I'm not this, I'm not a legal fiction," yeah. then you're an unincorporated corporation speaking for a corporated corporation, saying that you don't exist. Now that is just not logical and very stupid. You're using corporate models to tell a corporate structure that you don't exist in this corporate world when quite clearly you do. Now my point to Roger Hayes is if he's running or the chairman of the British Constitutional Group surely he should be aware of his inherited constitutional title in law. Why? Because that it shows integrity and competence of the job. Yeah? And it's been verified to me by a magistrate that that is a constitutional title and it would be hard for any administrative judge to administrate over that title in law. Yeah? Sure. But you, you can acknowledge yourself as a master, then back down into jurisdiction as a mister because you're vicariously liable for all, all your affairs. But all you're doing is showing that you have jurisprudence in that matter. Jumping out of jurisdictions, and, it, and if you've done wrong, you've done wrong. If you want a cheap packet of fags and try and con everyone, you're going to lose. These are masters of law. You're not going to fool them because you've read two pages of a book and think you're going to outwit these, these masters. It's just not going to happen. And it's never happened. And some people say it's their law. I'm not abiding by their law. Yeah, that's, that's what I say. But I don't know anyone who's 300 years old that walks this land. Right? I don't know exactly. So it wasn't, it wasn't written for me by me, was it? Uh, but no, but do you not think there was men like me and you around 300 years ago when this sort of stuff was created, arguing the toss that saw future 
manipulation and how it could be manipulated in the future and set precedents back then. So, yeah, but good for men, them, with, it, with their awareness, actually but spotted it, this. But I, I also, I, I, I can't verify this, but I, I, my, my I'll put it to you, there's always been good said, men arguing like, yeah, good, good my, 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 my great grandfather and my great grandfather before that on my father's side were all foresters, yeah, they, and they were free men of the forest. Yeah, and they had their own laws, and they actually had more rights than any of the citizens. Yeah, they they weren't deemed citizens. Yeah, so I'm saying that there was, it is their law. Yeah, that's how the the the, the, road, the travelers there. there like, well, yeah, ro ro no, not Rome. I'm, I'm talking about just 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 the corporate law that claims it claims its its statutory powers over all of us because they have our signatures and stuff like that. But what is it's, consent? Yeah, what is consent is. It, isn't just something that I never had an opportunity to give. I I actually I, I I don't believe that what you perceive to be consent then is consent. Right? If if consent isn't yes, I agree. Or uh, uh, there's always an implied right. Yeah. Someone always uh, can make an assumption or presumption if if you can't speak for yourself. But but that's not a that. So have you ever used your Mr. Title that was given to you? Oh yeah, I, 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 I have used it, yeah, but I didn't, I didn't... To the social contract? I did not know, yeah, it was not put to me that I could have just left it. I, didn't, I, I, I was educated to think that that was all I was entitled to. So through yeah. your own naivety then, through you, my, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, yeah, accept yeah. that you do consent? No, I, I'm not saying that I ever consented because I was never given the option, yeah, I, I was never... It was. It may have been blatantly obvious to me that there was the option, yeah, but the majority of us are brought up to think that there is no option apart from to become Mr. or to use that in that that given title, yeah. That we we're not brought up to actually say uh, that we we have a if we we don't have the opportunity to be educated by our, by our own anymore, yeah. And if we are educated by our own. We would certainly come up with a lot more practical laws, yeah, in our own spiritual family way, yeah, which then we would be able to discuss and then enter into contract. I'm not disputing. Or, yeah, so this this is where I'm saying I was I'm never not, given that consent. I'm not, yeah, wow. Uh, well, I'm yes. I'm not disputing. That's not a valid argument compared to people that lived in the woods that created their own laws because. Even in films of Robin Hood, when the men chased them to the woods, they stuck because they were haunted, and the king's men went back to the castle. Yeah. Bollocks! Yeah. Robin Hood knew some law. <laughs> the only land walkers in law are walkers of the forest. Yeah. yeah? If you're outside of the forest, you're yeah. no longer on the land, you're classed as that sea. Yeah. Or, or, or at least it's allegedly, allegedly <laughs> perceived to be like that in law and maritime setting. So yeah. maybe Robin Hood just knew some law, some Latin, some deep shit. You know what I mean? And oh, of course. The, well, he was a lord. Of, uh, the, the, the legend is he was a he was a, 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 a landowner, a, a lord of the manor. So of course studied, he, South he had cl classically educated, whatever that would have been in twelve whatever. So there again, there's actually laws to protect land people within forests. Yeah, but the, the thing in is, in the laws you yeah. say bare laws. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the, the created laws of the people who. Were there? Were there exactly? Yeah. So what I'm saying yeah, is, but, we're that, good but I would we're call stature, that. Yeah, but I would, in our cause but then, then. I, I, I would have the right, the technical right, yeah, to say that's out my law, yeah, because I'm of that blood, yeah, right. and I'm not. I'm not. And but you've you been, know, you know, for your own naive, for yeah, but for your own naivety, you've consented into something now. But it doesn't matter. How oh yeah, no, I, I fully accept. I have to have a driving license, yeah, because I, I, they have consent. my signatures. Yeah, it's already, it's already done, and I was a twat for not. Realising that, I, well, I, it, what this has done. I've never paid council tax in my life, ever. Right, yeah, it might have been paid for me. I've gone in there. They, they, I might have been on benefits once, and they've given me a form to fill out. And I've gone. Like, I, I can't even promise you that I can give you a pound a week. Uh, I, I'm happy to go to prison if that's what it means. Like, yeah. And they've just quashed it. And I've walked out of court. Mm. And like, uh, sweet. I didn't know what I was doing. I was young. But I've never paid council tax in my life. It's always been administrated for me or paid. I've never paid council tax. The last time. I got like a £500 bill recently, yeah. but the old woman that rang me up, yeah. she, um, she, uh, what was it? She, uh, she made a con, she made a contract with me saying that she'll send me something to sign and I'll send back and I'll pay five pound a week. All she did was send me a bill and a card to pay five pound a week. They've never chased me up for it. I say broke the contract. Right. Right. Yeah.
So well, I've, no, did you have to sign the back of the card? No, I didn't have to sign nothing. I've yeah. never paid nothing yeah. because you know how they record the calls. Yeah. Are we recording for training yeah. purposes? Blah, blah. No, it's to make sure they get you in the right area of law yeah. in order to uh, uh, enforce whatever it is they're trying to enforce on you. And what I did is I created, through her na naivety and knowledge of the law, a contract between me and her where she said she was going to send me a contract I had to sign with her signature on it saying I have to pay £5 a week. Yeah. Right, and I send that back to him with an agreement. Yeah. No such contract appeared. Yeah. Right, there was a bill saying five pound a week. I've never paid it, and I've never been hassled for it because right. they've broke the contract. And how and long has that gone on for? I've, how uh, long ago was that? That was about nine, ten months ago. Right. Not heard a okay. thing. Not heard a thing. You know what I mean? And that was just over the simple. That was just a simple verbal contract, which is one of the highest degrees of law you can get. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, no assumptions, no presumptions. I'm going to work with you, you're going to work with me. She made a contract as a well, representative well, well, for the council. Is it technically a, a verbal contract then because it was being recorded? Um, well, it's, it, 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 it's honour and dishonour. Yeah. Right? There's no two ways about it. She's, uh, the, she's, a representat she's a representative for the council, an yeah. agent. Therefore, uh, she made an agreement with me. Agreement hasn't been fulfilled. Yeah. I don't have to fulfill any obligation. Yeah, right. Fair play. Right. And someone in the uh, chain of affairs, some legal team or whatever, has listened to the phone call. Whatever, and not just cha just not chase me up to that. They just know it's obviously not worth it. <laughs> and it, you can't chase like these people. Well, are yeah, honorable. It, appear, it appears like they are bullies and they look for the we weakest world. Well, there you go. I mean, but they will I always mean, what, stay what, in honour. What, 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 what do you think to? Uh, Rod, Roger Hayes and uh, the, the uh, arresting of the judge. Well, well, what, what's your perception on, on that? Well, he never arrested no judge. Uh, but did, did a judge get arrested? No, because he, the, the judge remained in honour. Mr, Mr. In what way? Well, Mr Hayes went in there with a slave title in a court de, jure, in a court de facto, and the facts are he's using a title given to him and then, and then claiming that the judge is corrupt. Well, listen, the, the courtroom, in any setting, whether administrative, du jour, or whatever, is only a representation of your mind and your knowledge of the law. Roger, if Roger Hayes is going into a courtroom and calling everybody corrupt, that's because he's corrupt. Because it's representing his mind. Yeah? You go into a courtroom and remain honourable with facts. Yeah? And don't try and discredit a man you do not know, but, uh, 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 or men, or women, who, who, who have earned their place to, to, and studied to get there, one assumes, um, into dishonour. When you're not 100%, if the man doesn't even know his constitutional title, right, this is because what this the fuck's he doing to. going into a courtroom telling a judge that he's, that he, he's corrupt? <laughs> yeah, he's got no knowledge of what he's doing. He has no jurisprudence, which is knowledge of the law. It's, 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 it's a mockery. What, what they're doing is, is, is uh, uh, obviously creating something for people who just first get into protesting or uh, feel something that's looking, wrong and they want looking to Looking for an answer. Yeah, yeah. L look to a leader of some sort or a group of leaders or a group that's set there in place doing that sort of thing. Yeah. You, listen, you, and it, if something's corrupt, you can't just make you, it 100% corrupt. You can't use corrupt. a corrupt system to fix a corrupt system. Exactly. They're using corporate models. Well, I study corporate law models and law models and I just sit back and wait. And then when I, it doesn't matter who it is, Sarah Lioness, Roger Hayes, Brian Jerish, or, or, uh, all of these people are out there right now selling you stuff, right, yeah? It didn't matter who they were, male, female, whatever. I've just sat back and waited for the law models to pop up that I know about. Yeah. And when they come with a donate button or subscribe or money or fee out of it, now I know it's a con and it didn't matter who delivers it. Yeah, but Sarah Lioness says justice isn't free, so like that's why she wants she, she wants donations. Uh, what, well, well, uh, I mean, what, what's what, what's your best uh, remedy then for for anybody who wants to know how to work in court? Well, is it is it best to, to get to donate to Sarah Lioness? Right, the study in or is it better to do it themselves? <laughs> right, listen, the, the study and practice of law can never be licensed ever it would be unlawful because if you can't learn the rules of the game it would cause you suffering and harm 
to do a break of common law by making the study and practice of law license. Right, just like I think we might be in the room again, right? right. So that can never be licensed. You can go to every Masonic library in every city and read up and print off if you've got enough 10 pins. There's much law out of all the history law books are out. Yeah, case law. Yeah, okay, I'll just butt in and we'll just get, get back to So what's, what's, we, we, we were almost there. What, what's the, what is your constitutional title then? Master. Master, right, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. We, women have to claim that, this yeah. title. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, but they, they, they are, see, equal rights have caught up with women in law, but titles haven't. You know, no one's no one's decided to. Uh, every time a girl's born in this country, they don't get addressed as master, whatever they are. Um, what would they get addressed as then? But they are the masters of themselves. They just have to make the claim. Right. Yeah. As where constitutionally all boys. So would it would it not be mistress, or does it always have to be master? A mistress is one of the most powerful names for a woman in law that I've come across, uh, uh, along with lady and queen and things like that. Yeah. Well, where, where, when you say I've come across, how did you how did you find this knowledge? Where where did you go for this? I studied titles of law, Boulevard's Law, Black's Law Dictionary, first editions, um, and digress from there when I'm looking at a definition as, as a title that's used. They'll come case law underneath it and stuff like that, and where them definitions come from, and you can research all this back and find yourself back to uh, scriptures of Latin and King James Bibles, and some of the literature is now locked away until 2032. So some of the definitions of law that I've defined are not open to subjectivity or, or scrutiny any further in the public domain, because no one can claim to have knowledge of any further scrutiny of them uh, uh, definitions, because it's not obtainable anywhere in any public um, Record, arena. Uh, uh, yeah, because the scriptures are locked away. Maybe I think it's like something to do with the Queen or Tavistock or something like that. But these, you know, or the Church. I'm not sure. But um, so, so where are? What is this book that you speak of that we can't? That we won't be able not to, books. Scriptures. Okay. Scriptures. Well, what are these scriptures called? Do you know the name? Well, right, yeah. well like, they. They come from definitions that uh, stem back from the King James Bible, right? Yeah, and old dead Latin, right? So I assume uh, it's got a lot to do with the Catholic Church, and maybe like between the, the powers, maybe some of the. So, is it, split well, up. so would it be in a Church of England library or a Catholic library? Uh, I I found um, documented evidence in the Yale Law Libraries right. of. Uh, just telling me that the scripture's locked away. Uh, right. I can't remember off the top of my head where specifically. Right, yeah. But I got to the Yale Law Library through the Tavistock connection. Right. That's about it. Cool. Anything else, Gaz? What do you think of my weed? It's fucking too strong, man. I don't want any more of that. <laughs> Alright, quick. Uh, peace. I'm peace. out. I'm out. Safe. Respect. Sorted.